Hi, this is Bruce from Groxio, and I'm coming at you with a few little tidbits on strings versus char lists. This is an often confusing area in Elixir that I'd like to clear up just a little bit. So if you're working exorcism problems, many things that we want to do within those problems are break up individual strings into characters. And I want to show you how each individual piece of that works. So I'm going to do that all from IEX. Okay, so you might have seen that there are two types of strings in Elixir. Let's call this not a string, just so nobody yells at me. And the nice thing is that we can actually take these and we can inspect them from within IEX. So you can see that this one is a term and it's a bit string. Another way to put that is it's a binary, right? And what that means is that we're literally cramming pieces of information one after another or into a variable or a term. So let's look at what that might look like. So if I have a binary, I can put the bytes one, two, and three into a list like this, right? There's another thing that you need to understand in Elixir, we represent characters as code points or integers. So if you have an A, so there's an A. If, if I want to look at an individual A, it's actually a code point, which is a 97. So what if I put a 97? a 98 and a 99 into a binary. Well, yes, that is actually a string. And Elixir is, is going to show you, it doesn't really know that, that you typed, that you typed a, um, a binary um, or a bit string. What, what it knows is that the, res that the result that it needs to print out is a bit string with characters, with valid characters for all the locations. And in fact, we can build a list the same way. So in Elixir, this is represented in contiguous memory locations. And this is represented, the second one is represented as a list. So if I get the type of that, it's going to be very different. So, for example, uh, so the A, B, remember these are the code points. Is that the same as A, B, C? Uh, oh, two question marks, right? No, it's not the same. And let's see why. Okay, so this is a term, but it's a data type of list. And so, um, and so these these are far these are far different underlying representations. This is a representation, the one with single quotes. For something that I can quickly iterate over or use an enumerable with. And you could see that it implements the protocols for collectible and enumerable, meaning that I could work with them in collections. And you can see also that the same thing is not true based on this term. All right? So the, the protocols So you can see that this is collectible, but this is not also enumerable. So what's the moral of the story? When you want to build, when you want to build an application with strings in the most efficient format, you should always use the double quotes. And if you need to take them apart, you can always convert. So I could do, for example, this, ABC. And then I can pipe that to string.2 tab and you can see one of the options is to chart list and then I could say 
enum.map. And then I could do, for example, Then I can drop a function in just like that. So I go seamlessly from dealing with something as a string to dealing with something as a list, and then map over that list with a function that inspects each character, and I get this result just like that. So that's it for this particular Elixir video, and we'll be back at you next time.